Hey, everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Mm -hmm. This time we're headed to Finland. Sounds fun. Specifically, yeah. the Helsinki Book Fair from 2024. Oh, cool. All thanks to a blog post on Indivihi. Awesome. That was written earlier this year. <laughs> Great. Right. So the blogger was obviously so excited to be there. Right. They were saying yeah. that it broke attendance records. Wow. Over 90,000 people showed up. That's amazing. So it must have been pretty amazing to be there. Yeah. All those book lovers under one roof. It really speaks to the enduring power of books. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. even in a world that is so digital these days. And one of the trends that they noticed okay. was this real focus on mm -hmm. health and special diets. Mm -hmm. And in fact, alongside the book fair, yeah. there was another fair called Laudicella. Interesting. Which was entirely focused on wow. gluten-free and lactose-free oh, products cool. and all that kind of stuff. So interesting to see that reflected yeah. in the literary world as well. Definitely. And actually, yeah. you know what caught my eye? What's that? The blogger picked up a FOD MAP cookbook. Oh, cool. Have you heard of the FOD MAP diet? Uh, I have heard of it. So it's basically all about yeah. finding foods that yeah. don't upset your stomach. Yeah, that's for people with like sensitive stomachs and stuff. Exactly. Irritable bowel syndrome. So the blogger was hoping to find Mm -hmm. Some easy and delicious recipes. Makes sense. That cater to that. Yeah. So, for sure. you know, moving from cookbooks okay. yeah. into something completely different. Right. They picked up Yuval Noah Harari's oh, wow. new oh, book, uh -huh. Nexus, A Short History of Information Networks. Very cool. Have you heard of this one? Oh, of course. Harari's a brilliant mind. Yeah. Yeah. So in this book, yeah. he's really tackling uh -huh. how the internet has evolved. Right. And both its, you know, initial yeah. promise of progress. Right. But also all of the potential downsides that we're seeing today. Yeah. The manipulation, the societal division, all of that. Totally. And the blogger actually mentioned. Oh, yeah. That the introduction was so dense. Okay. That it almost put them to sleep. Interesting. Although, to be fair, they were reading it right before bed. Oh, right. But still, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, mm -hmm. his work can be pretty thought provoking. Yeah. You know, he really challenges you to think critically right. about the world. Exactly. So sometimes that can be a little bit tiring. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So moving on okay. from something very global mm -hmm. to something a bit closer to home. All right. For this blogger. Okay. They picked up a book about yeah. former Finnish Prime Minister Santa Marin. Oh, cool. Have you heard of her? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this biography yeah. is called Santa Marin, The Rebellious Role Model's Path to the Top. That sounds really interesting. And it's exploring her political journey and her influence. I mean, her time in office right. definitely garnered a lot of attention. For sure. So. And there's actually like a little bit of controversy surrounding this book. Really? Yeah. So the blogger mentioned that there were some <laughs> alleged breaches of source protection Interesting. during the writing hmm. of the book. So that really raises some questions about yeah. the ethics I, wow. of biographical writing. Totally. It, it, totally. Does. it makes you wonder, you know, yeah. how those allegations mm -hmm. might affect right. how people receive the book yeah. and how Santa Marin is portrayed. Absolutely. So. It's kind of interesting it is. to think about. Mm -hmm. That now, yeah. beyond the controversy, Okay. The blogger yeah. made kind of an interesting observation. They were sure. saying how you yeah. know they compared this edition of the book to mm -hmm. another one right. that was published by mm -hmm. a different publisher. Right. And this one's by Inta. Okay. And the other one's by WSOY. Gotcha. And they were saying that the WSOY one uh -huh. was just so yeah. much more... Yeah. Mm -hmm visually appealing. Interesting. And they said, yeah. you know, if they were just buying mm -hmm. based on the looks and the feel, mm -hmm. they probably would have gone with the other one. It's fascinating, isn't it? It is. How a book cover yeah. can really influence our choices. Totally. Like it's that first impression that draws you in. Totally. H have you ever judged a book by its cover? Oh, absolutely. I have. I think we all have at some point. We're such visual creatures, yeah. aren't we? We are. Um, in a striking cover. It yeah. just piques your interest. Totally. Yeah. So moving beyond the physical books, mm -hmm. the blogger also captured some interesting yeah. snippets mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the changing world of literature. Right. They mentioned filming a YouTube shorts video. Cool. Showcasing discussions uh -huh. about audiobooks and AI. Oh, wow. 
at the fair. That's a great point. Yeah. You know, the way we consume mm -hmm. literature is constantly changing yeah. with all this new technology. Totally. Yeah. And speaking of technology. <laughs> okay. Remember how we were talking about the mm -hmm. bloggers' interest in mm -hmm. healthy eating? Yeah. They actually mentioned that they're using AI wow. to create podcasts really? from their blog posts. That's innovative. Isn't that interesting? That is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. just makes you wonder, you know, <laughs> about all the different ways that yeah. AI could be used right. to, you know, uh -huh. personalize content. Totally. And create yeah. new ways for us to engage. It's a game changer. With information. It really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like having a personalized podcast. Right. Curated just for you. It's based on your interests. Yeah. So mm. it's pretty cool. That is really cool. Now, yeah. before we wrap up. Okay our Helsinki deep dive, uh, there's one more yeah. interesting tidbit right. from the blog post. Okay. The blogger mentioned yeah. searching for literature about India okay. at the book fair, uh -huh. but couldn't find anything. Interesting. And it turns out yeah. the reason why they were looking mm -hmm. is that they've been writing about India online Wow. for almost 20 years. Really? So that was a long time. They were hoping to find some new material. Makes sense. That's quite a commitment. Is. <laughs> to a subject, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, it's fascinating um, how certain topics can just captivate us. Right. For so long. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. It really speaks to like lifelong learning. I agree. And I... the pursuit of knowledge. For sure. And it's a reminder yeah. that there's always more to learn. Right. Even in areas yeah, we think we know a lot about. Yeah. And sometimes those, yeah. you know, unexpected gaps in our knowledge right. can lead us yeah. down new paths. It's like stumbling upon a hidden treasure. Exactly. Right? You know, when yeah. you venture outside of your comfort zone. Totally. Yeah. So I think it's time to wrap up mm -hmm. our Helsinki Book Fair deep dive for now all right